Chelsea, I posted the article I want you to read from. It's just above Craig in the general chat. I think it'll be a good fringy mini from what we just talked about. Okay. The title is Epoch Times Financial Exec Charged in $67 million Money Laundering Scheme. Okay. I have to file it. I'm feeling... A follow-up? Feeling follow-up. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're right. <laughs> this is Nick Logan, CBC, CBC News. June 3rd, 2024. Oh, this is recent. Unlike anything I ever talk about. <laughs> Making everything else okay. even less recent. <laughs> the financial head of the publisher of the Epoch Times is facing money laundering charges in an apparent 67 million US scheme to benefit himself and the company. They would never. I don't believe They don't it. seem like the type. They're such good people. No. <laughs> The United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York alleges Wai Dong Guan, also known as Bill Guan, inspired with others in a, quote, sprawling transnational scheme, end quote, to, quote, benefit himself, the media company, and its affiliates, end quote, re-end quote. Oh, so he and really I- did it. He did it all for the dance group. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for what sure. What the hell is the name of the... De- Shen Yun. Shen Yun. Shen Yun. I see it everywhere now that we've talked about it. Literally everywhere. Bus stops. This podcast, which places. may or may not now be sponsored by Shen Yun. I really hope that a Shen Yun ad break comes up here right now. This would be a good spot to start sponsoring the podcast, yeah. Shen Yun. We've now Quite said natural. it enough that they have to sponsor us. It's the rules. They got it. They got it. It's the rules of they got it. <laughs> financial records on the ProPublica website show that Guan is the chief financial officer in the New York headquartered Epoch Times Media Group, which publishes the conservative newspaper and website of the same name. The 61-year-old from New Jersey is charged with one count of conspiring to commit money laundering, which carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison, and two counts of bank fraud, which each carry a maximum sentence of 30 years. In an email to CBC News. A spokesperson for the Epoch Times said Guan is, quote, innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, end quote, and that the company would cooperate with any investigation into the allegations against him, but that he has been suspended, quote, until this matter is resolved, end quote. In a statement on Monday, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams accused Guan of laundering tens of millions of dollars in fraudulently obtained employment insurance benefits and other crime proceeds. And here somebody is in a picture holding up the Epoch Times article of, I don't even know, uh, against Canadian mailboxes. That was the free article that went out to everybody. Because yeah. re- there was that time where everybody got in the mail and a copy of the Epoch Times. Epoch again. Times? Really? Oh, yeah. Did I miss that? It was right during it? COVID. Because it says how the Chinese Communist Party endangered the world with COVID on the cover. Oh, yeah. That's what they're showing. I don't remember ever seeing this. So maybe I missed the free newspaper. I am really disappointed in my mail service for not getting that. Williams alleges that members of the Epoch Times Make Money Online team, which Guan managed, used stolen personal identification information to launder illegally obtained funds through bank accounts set up in the media company's name, as well through using prepaid debit card and cryptocurrency accounts. After the crime proceeds reached those bank accounts, They were often further laundered through other bank accounts held by the media entities. Guan's personal bank accounts and through Guan's personal cryptocurrency accounts, the district attorney's statement says. Didn't we know this? Didn't we know they were money laundering? He wasn't arrested at the time and it didn't fully come up. Okay, then that's just me. It also says the media company's increased annual revenue jumped from approximately 50 million U.S. to about 62 million U.S. year over year during a period in or around the same time the money laundering scheme began. Guan allegedly oversaw the scheme from at least sometime in 2020 through May of this year while working for the company, which is not named in the statement. The news release clearly states that the charges against Guan do not relate to the media company's news gathering activities. The rest is just kind of talking about the Epoch Times and stuff we already covered in our Epoch, in our, um... In our episodes, yeah. 
the Epoch of the episodes Sun. about the Fallon God, right? Yeah. yeah. I think that was spelled correctly under feeling like an update. I feel like this is something that came up as a question in those episodes of like, where did they get all this money to have such a media presence just out of nowhere? And I think this kind of solves that question. And it makes sense. It did come up a lot in that episode, didn't it? Because in my mind, it was just the fact that they had so many volunteers doing the work that they were getting all this stuff for free. Yeah, but, but if you see, they like, they did have a lot of volunteers, but they also need money to fund stuff. Exactly, and volunteers don't just give money. And if you look into the story more, like this guy has made statements to like different government bodies saying, oh, all this money that we got came from donations. And then to another government body who's investigating them saying like, oh, we actually get all of our money from subscribers. We get no money from donations. And so, he's like laundering the money. And yeah, and he's laundering <laughs> the money the whole time. So... It seems pretty clear cut. We'll see if he gets charged, but at this time it's looking pretty clear cut. I love that for them. Of course, alleged laundering until further happens. Of course, that's what I meant to say. Of course. Yes. Okay, well, we'll see where that takes us in 48 hours. Probably nowhere. Probably nowhere. I, I foresee very little Falun Gong happening in the next episode, so um, you might have to wait more than 48 hours, but hey, see for yourself in 48 hours. I dare you. Anyhow, bye.